Hello everybody and welcome to another update on the coronavirus pandemic. I'm Dr. Skolf Berger from Dr. Luke on Call and as you can see our topic for today is your amazing immune system. This is a really important topic. Um, it might look a little strange to you but I'll explain it to you in, in detail but in a very understandable terms so that you can know why your immune system is so important to defeat this virus. Before I start I want to send out a special greeting to the Grobler family in Dubai. Stay safe and stay healthy. And also to our two grandmas, Oma Alet and Oma Hester in Pretoria. Um, we love you and we pray that you stay healthy. Okay, let's get started. So we have got the immune system that is really the key to defeating the virus. The immune system has got a non-specific section that means it has various way to protect you like your skin protects you and it, it's got cells and membranes that prevents the a virus and the bacteria to actually come into your body and to your bloodstream but then it has the white blood cell system it is a very sophisticated system and it's got an incredible design to detect and protect you against the virus and also get rid of viruses that are in your bloodstream and in your cells Okay, so how do we start? Firstly, we have cells that patrol your body. I call them the police patrol cells. So police patrol means they drive around the neighborhood with their police vans and they pick up anybody that is walking around in the streets that's not supposed to be in the streets. Well, they actually patrol your blood system and your body to uh, look for any intruders. When they find an intruder, and we all know the biggest intruder at the moment is the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes the COVID-19 disease. So these intruders come into your body through your nose and your mouth and your eyes. The dendritic cells and the macrophages, which are two type of patrol cars, they're called phagocytes, they catch the intruder, put them in the back of the van. They don't ask questions, they don't ask why you're there. They just put them in the back of the patrol car and they take them to the command center. The command center is in the lymph node. Remember your lymph nodes are these things that enlarge when you get a sore throat. They can be under your arms, they can be in your groin, they all over the body and they're really there to, to protect you. Then in the command center we have the commander. Actually we have a lot of commanders but they're the same type of commanders. The commander is the T helper cell, the CD4 cell. This is an incredibly important white blood cell. The CD4 cell is the one that triggers the whole immune system. So when this patrol car arrives at the command center with its intruder in the back of the van, it connects to this commander through a receptor and through binding on a specific um, receptor site. And that then activates this commander and it releases a whole lot of cytokines chemicals that is like the alarm bell that goes off and that alarm bell is now going to cause the whole immune system to be on fire now what do we have to do in the immune system we've got to do two things we've got to get rid of the virus that's already in your bloodstream and we've got to get rid of the virus that is already in your lung cells because that's why they love to go we spoke about that before why the virus pre prefers to go to the lung cells okay let's start with getting rid of the viruses that are in your bloodstream the commander activates the whole system and the b cells a different type of a white blood cell gets activated it's got a whole lot of antibodies on its surface and it can recognize um, a lot of different um, viruses and bacteria when it gets activated, it divides in two different ones. The one is called a memory B cell and the other one's called a plasma cell. Now the memory B cell is an interesting one because the memory B cell is the one that remembers that you've been in contact with the coronavirus. So next year and the years after, it just brings up the cell when the virus appears on the scene again. You've got a nice quick immune response, make the antibodies, get rid of the virus. That's why 
you can't get the infection again. That's why we, we talk about immunity. So the B memory cell is formed and it's got these markers on the outside that says, remember the coronavirus if it comes in again. Then secondly, it makes these plasma cells. They've also got markers that says, I've got to do something against the coronavirus. So this plasma cell starts producing antibodies. Estimated 1,000 antibodies per second. And remember, there are millions of these plasma cells. So we make tons of antibodies. They then connect and bind to the coronavirus that's in your bloodstream. And that has two effects. It prevents the coronavirus from entering your cells so easily because it's now got stuff attached around it. And secondly, when these antibodies connect to the coronavirus, there's this lovely cell called a macrophage. It's like the vacuum cleaner of the body. And it can recognize these antibodies that is connected to the virus. And it just comes in and it just eats it up inside and it just destroys it and it breaks it up. Okay, other things happen as well there, but that's not so important for now. Secondly, we still have to kill the virus that's already in the cells. For that, we need the T killer cells or the CD8 cells. Now, the CD8 cells are cytotoxic. What does cytotoxic mean? They are toxic to cells and they kill cells. They've got a receptor on the outside, a CD8, which connects to the lung cell. That's got a marker as well. That connection then causes some chemicals to be excreted from this T killer cell. And remember, the killer cell releases killer toxins or killer chemicals, goes into the cell and starts affecting the cell and all the virus inside it. And eventually it completely destroys that infected cell. So we have a big reaction that takes place. When that happens, chemicals are excreted and it's almost like another alarm bell that warns all the other cells in the area to prepare and to know that there's a virus and to make it difficult for the virus to infect them. So that process is called apoptosis when that cell dies. And we want those cells to die, but we obviously don't want all our cells to die. So we want them to be prepared to not get the virus. I wrote sleep there because the connection that this killer cell makes to the infected cell can be interrupted. If you have high stress hormones, adrenaline, noradrenaline, especially if you're awake for too long and you overwork, you don't rest, you don't sleep enough, seven to eight hours, then this connection detaches and the killer cell cannot kill the infected cell. So that's why it is really, really important to get enough rest and to get enough sleep. So to summarize, our immune system, the police cars patrol the, your body. It picks up intruders. It takes the intruders to the headquarters, which is the lymph nodes. In the headquarters, there's a commander. The commander activates the whole system. It activates B cells to kill the virus in your blood, and it activates T killer cells to kill the infected cells in the lung. So as you can see, your immune system is crucial to get rid of the virus. All other medication, all other supportive treatment that is given is really only there to help support this whole system because we don't have anything that will kill the virus on its own. We have ways to reduce the replication of the virus and you know many other things that's, that we use as far as antiviral treatment goes. So it's crucial to look after yourself. It's crucial to rest. It's crucial to communicate, support each other. Why are we now at home? Um, make sure you create relaxed environments. Make sure you eat your fruit and veg, have your fluids, rest enough. You know, we can say that over and over again. It's really, really important. I hope this has been informative. I hope you understood how incredible this immune system is that we were created with. And remember, 
knowledge is power. Stay home and stay healthy.